Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Chrome OS on PC. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use the VMware Workstation Pro, but you can use the VMware Workstation Player or the VirtualBox. It can work with both of them. There is not any issue at all. Uh, but before getting started, you have to download those applications and the OS itself. So uh, visit intoguide.com and here is a post how to install Chrome OS in Windows 11. Uh, from here, you have the very first step is that you have to download the VMware Workstation Player or uh, the uh, virtual box. Uh, but in this post, VMware Player has been used. Uh, when you uh, click on the link, uh, this page is going to open. Just simply click download for free and this page is going to open from there you have to simply click uh, go to downloads and then you can download the latest version of the vmware player for windows from here that's all you do not need any account uh, to download it at all okay uh, this is how you can download vmware player and then the second thing is that you have to download the chrome os itself uh, the thing is that google has not provided a, uh, an iso of the chrome os so there are alternative websites that you can get the .bin extension from there, but unfortunately you can use you cannot use it to install it inside a VMware or the uh, virtual box. Uh, in that case, comes this site neverware.com, cloudready kb neverware.com. It is a website which has provided the cloud ready of the Chrome OS. Basically, they have installed the Chrome OS. All you have to do is download it and then import it into the VM. And I have also to mention it that the current version that we are using, uh, it is a free version. And with this version, uh, uh, which is basically the home edition, and this version do not contain the uh, Google Play Store. So you'll have to go on without the Google Play Store in this version. So before getting, uh, now you have to come here and download these uh, here. Just simply click download uh, version 83, 64 bit, and then boom, you have to download in the uh, computer. Okay, I'm assuming that now you have downloaded all the required files. Uh, just go ahead and open the VMware Player or Pro or VirtualBox, whatever you are using. I'm cool with the VMware Player because um, I am so much comfortable with it. Uh, simply click open a uh, virtual machine and you can see that I have downloaded uh, it and now it is located in the desktop. So here is new folder and Chrome OS and here is the desktop and simply click open and you can see that it's saying that uh, import and it's going to save it in the documents but I'm not interested to save it inside the documents because, because I'm interested to find out the total size of these uh, Chrome OS so I'm going to create a new folder inside that one and then OK and import now I think it's going to take some time but based on your computer uh, and it is uh, details I think uh, it depends on that one how much time it's going to take so we'll have to wait for a moment and until the uh, Chrome OS has been imported into the virtual machine Okay, it is almost imported. Okay, now that is done, but hold on a moment. Okay, now you can see that uh, it has a 4 GB of RAM, processor of 2 GB, and uh, 32 GB uh, of the hard disk. And the network connection is basically, let's go ahead and open these settings. Uh, I think the network connection from here is set to bridge and that is automatic uh, but previously that I have used it in the bridge uh, option I faced an error so let's go ahead and try it in the, in the default settings if you face that problem uh, I'll guide you in that moment how to fix that one so just power on and wait okay I'm going to make it also full screen uh, here is my cursor and exclusive mode do not show this window and yep that is done we'll have to wait a moment please ok 
okay here is the chrome os uh, window uh, just choose the language and choose let's go yep as i thought we are still facing the current issue of the network so we'll have to change that one to the not just simply click here and then uh, power off or force shut down the guest os uh, click edit virtual machine settings uh, go to the network adapter and then choose uh, NAT used to share the host IP address and then OK and now go and empower on the virtual machine and make it full screen and again control alt and up exclusive mode in the VMware player the exclusive mode is not available it's only available in the VMware Pro that's why I'm very comfortable with the VMware Pro compared to the player and the virtual box yeah now we can see that there is not any issue just simply click next and checking for updates yep uh, it is anonymous data collection which basically is uh, it's saying that send metrics will help improve cloud ready so every company is these days they, they are uh, spying on us so that's not just Google nor Facebook so everyone on the web they are doing it okay you'll have to sign in inside the Chromebook so how to sign in uh, you have to simply put an email address I think I'm sorry about this but I'm going to pause the video a moment here okay sorry about that I forgot the password uh, of that account so I had to use another email so now everything is set up and just simply click get started yep the yep that is everything all you're saying that uh, using cloud ready home or school or business uh, so it is basically explaining everything regarding to the current uh, cloud ready OS and you can basically click go get started and you will see that it's going to bring the uh, prices basically regarding to the cloud ready uh, for education and then enterprise edition so okay hold on a moment yep they are adding all the extension that are available uh, with that gmail account so which one of them has the google play store services public and private schools district other educational okay i have no idea which one uh, full capability chrome educational upgrade to admin console uh, i think uh, this two is going to have those feature but the home version which we are using it do not have that one so this is basically how you can install the chrome os inside uh, the uh, vmware player in windows 11 so just you can see that when you click on it uh, you can just launch the chromium which you can see that it is already launched you can just simply close it it is very fast by the way uh, there is a web store so you can see that everything is available inside it however uh, the very bad thing is that you cannot install the uh, unfortunately the play store itself so you cannot test the any application third-party applications here but you can use the Google Docs uh, anything else that you want here so this is how you can simply install the Chrome OS inside the uh, virtual box sorry uh, vmware in windows 11 on pc so have a nice day and goodbye